Elephant Tales is a story of two baby elephants that become orphaned as a result of poaching, an older brother and a younger brother, and they search the epic landscapes of Africa for their new herd, for their new family. And along the way, they come across an orphaned baby chimp, an orphaned baby giraffe, and a lion cub. And together, as a team, as a family, they go in search of their new family. And essentially it's a sibling rivalry story, it's the relationship of uh, older brother to younger brother, the story of relationships between family members, and indeed it gets into the question of what is a family? What is it that really constitutes a family? And I think in a very subtle way we explore those, those, those questions amongst the backdrop of uh, an adventure story. What we need now is a shot of uh, giraffe legs mm -hmm. coming around and joining Billy. Okay. I came up with the idea for this film over 15 years ago when I was in Kenya researching a completely different movie. Uh, I was visiting this animal orphanage that existed just outside of Nairobi, the Sheldrick Foundation, and uh, I was sitting under an uh, acacia tree uh, in, the, in the heat of the midday sun watching these baby orphaned elephants playing with each other. And as I watched, I thought, there's a movie in that. And uh, 15 years later, here I am, just having completed the thing. Right, ready. That's right. Okay, do you want wind on the front of the just in the place where you want the elephant to go like How many? That's very easy. Reaching to there is good. Okay, am I going to be out? If I'm here, am I going to be out? How about if you're Craig? Where do you want them done? Funnily, when uh, when working with the you know with the trainers, um, I, I I said to them the way that we're going to make this film is that we have a general story outline, and then what I want to do is to see how the animals will fit together within this scene, and actually have the animals themselves write the detail of the scenes, and what I'd be prepared to do is to rewrite the actual scene itself around the animal behaviour and then after we've edited the film together we'll go back and rewrite it again and then rewrite it again once we've completed the whole film. And so it was, it was a case of saying, okay, we will trust that the animals will give us something really interesting. We will trust that the animals and, the, and their natural behaviour is going to be intrinsically interesting within itself for us to be able to then construct a uh, scene around. And as a result of adopting that attitude, I think that what we've managed to achieve is absolute magic. We've, we gave the, the, um, you know, the freedom and the liberty for the animals to actually be themselves, for, for them to be able to express their natural characters. And then at the same time, we were able to tighten the whole animal action in a way such we could end up with a really tight, dramatic story. He was walking away. Yeah, yeah no, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, let's bring that fence up around there, Anthony, so he doesn't just walk out into the field if it's not in shot. Um, anyone can help Anthony? Yeah, I've got it. To bring that fence okay, cut it. Oh. Cut it, cut it. I started off when I was 11 years old uh, on holidays from school helping my uncle work with elephants. Um, when I left school, I took one of the. Lola! Come here, come here and eat this taking one of the first groups of wild elephants that were um, caught in the Kruger National Park. When I left school I took 30 of them at sea to go back to Europe um, for various zoos and safari parks and uh, I've virtually been around elephants my whole life. I've been around animals all my life and, and working them as such I can remember till back to I was like 10, 11 year old. She's always been a fairly uh, self-confident, feisty Billy. young thing. Although I must admit, she's probably one of the f absolute fastest little elephants that I've. I mean, a lot of little elephants are able to run quickly and they're, you know, very, very quick. But I mean, as you've seen, she's she's an absolute rocket. You know, mostly it, with a young animal like this, you can't really teach them an awful lot. I mean, mostly what we do is spend a lot of time with the animal so that they're comfortable with us on set. Mm. Um, so we'd spend four or five hours a day with her out in the bush learning what she likes to do and giving her confidence to be away from the other elephants and be with us. Mm. 
um, and to have the confidence then to follow us into novel situations, like into some of the novel situations that we've created in this film. Um, she's had that confidence because she's spent time during her growing up to, to bond onto us and to trust us. If you're with them, that gives them that extra bit of confidence to say, well, hey, this must be okay. This person who I've come to, to like is here with me, so nothing's going to happen, happen to me. And, and, but the only way to get that is hour after hour of time to, to spend with them. In order to be able to work an animal like this on a, on a film set, you know, you just need to spend um, to spend that time basically to build the the confidence and trust that an animal will be like this. That she she'd like to just she's calmly hanging out with us. Yeah.